It was an outrageous plot that ended in humiliating capture. And Simon Mann, of the privileged English background, would spend five years in some of Africa's most notorious prisons. Although even here, he was still on the lookout for ways to make money. It's going to cost you a lot of money. You have to pay to film it. Mark Thatcher, the son of former British Prime Minister Margaret, admitted paying for an aircraft to be used by the plotters, although he denied knowing they wanted to stage a coup in Equatorial Guinea. Today, Simon Mann still feels betrayed by his friends who backed the coup attempt and by the governments that he says wanted it to succeed. The United States and the UK were um, giving approval by not stopping something that they knew was going on. Spain and South Africa were very actively uh, pushing for the coup to happen and were in fact in support of it. Man's mercenary career began in the bloody chaos of Angola's civil war. But how much did he earn in his time as a gun for hire? Angola is the only one I've made money on, and I made about 10 million pounds, a lot of which I, I subsequently lost in Sierra Leone, which was the next escapade, um, and diamond mining in, in Africa. Simon Mann has had adventures across Africa, although mercenaries have also played important roles in many other wars, including in Nigeria and the Congo, and of course most recently in Libya. One of the things that gives people like Simon Mann, you know, a great interest in the continent and, and, and want to come there and make money is because they see civil wars. And some of those civil wars are caused by our own dictators and by our own lack of democracy. So people resort to fighting rather than literally trying to change governments through elections and so on. And then Simon Mann says, wow, you know, that's a very great opportunity. Simon Mann was eventually pardoned by the government of Equatorial Guinea. He says he's never tried to make money in an immoral fashion. But many in Africa will think otherwise. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera.